All right, guys, something I'm gonna do today is I wanted to, uh, you know, weigh out my arrows that I've got here. So, uh, got my whole stack of uh, the uh, Victory, Victory VAP arrows here. So VAP Elite 300. So these are a spine to line, they were for, uh, you know, about 75 to 90 pounds. Um, they are a 0.166 inch arrow, you know, so they're, they're pretty small pretty micro diameter um, but uh, they really pack a punch and you know one of the things I wanted to prove today just you know, a lot a lot of people on different forums and things have told me you know whenever you hunt with a uh, micro diameter arrow like that a couple of issues you have is one they're not going to pack as much punch as say something like this you know the Easton full metal jacket um, sorry there we go the FMJ right so FMJ is 10.2 grains per inch. Uh, also very slim, it's a little bit thicker than the uh, uh, the Victory VAP, but uh, it's still also a very small diameter arrow. So what I wanted to prove is, uh, you know, that these that's not really quite conducive. Um, not only that, I kind of want to do a little bit of a review for the uh, Victory VAP and how I like it and everything. So uh, first of all, I'm going to compare these two. I have. Uh, this is an arrow I actually found. I was at a range, it was an empty range one time at a Bass Pro Shop. Uh, somebody had gone and shot this uh, FMJ uh, into the wall and left it there. And I was like, huh. So I was talking to the guy that worked there and I said, this arrow here, man, I was like, it's just kind of in there, stuck by the uh, the field tip, is stuck in the wall. I was like, you know, mind if I take it? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Somebody left it here, that's their fault. So anyway, so I ended up getting a free. Uh, FMJ out of it. As you can see, this one right here is cut just a little bit longer. I'm not going to really mess with that. So, if I measure this up here, you know, knock to knock, right? You see the other end here. It's about an inch longer, uh, maybe an inch and a half longer. So, that might make a little bit of difference in this test, but not not a whole lot. So, two things I wanted to compare here. One is People think that, uh, you know, these Victory Bab, because it's just a carbon arrow, it's not coated with aluminum like the FMJ, that it's going to be a heck of a lot lighter, and it's going to be too light to really put any penetration downrange, too light to be fast downrange. That's what I wanted to address today. So, so with that, here we go. I want to do some quick measurements. So, we're looking here. I'm going to turn on my scale. All right, so we're zeroed out. So, I'm going to take the field tip out. All right, so now I just got my arrow. I uh, just got the knock just as it comes. The only thing I've added to it is there we go. Just a little CEZ, uh, tiny bit of little wrap on the end. That way I can see it if I ever shoot miss an arrow or something like that or miss a shot. All right, so uh, this one's reading 20.6 grams. If I get my calculator out here. So if I'm doing my math right, 20.6 grams times 15.4 basically. So by itself, it's basically it's uh, 317 uh, grains right there. Okay. So now let's see. Go ahead and put my field tip on there. Actually, I'll measure the field tip by itself. Uh, these are the trophy taker field tips here. I love these things because they have the little O-ring on them and they stay in place really well. Okay, so that's measuring out 6.6 .6 grams, okay? So let's see, so if you don't know the kind of conversions here, this, this scale just weighs in grams, it's a, to a tenth of a gram. Um, but there are 15.34, 15.4 basically uh, grams per grain, so, or grains per gram, sorry. So 15.43, look close. So let's just say 15.4, all right? So now like I say, we're looking at uh, the trophy taker field tip. 6.6 .6 grams, which if you look in here comes out to 101, so it's uh, just over 100, just over 100 grain. So let's go ahead and put it on here. All right, measure again. Make sure we're balanced. All right, so 27.2. So that's 419.69 with a 
100 grain point on it, whether I'm using my broadhead or whether I'm using a, you know, a field tip, I'm at 420 grain. So it's by any means, whenever you look at it, a, not a um, not a light arrow, right? So I'm telling you, oh, those Victory Vap, they're nice, but you know, down range, losing speed, they're too light. 420 grams, it's not necessarily light. It packs a quite a punch. And so a lot of people think, the one of the, some of the things they think about too, whenever they're thinking about these arrows, is they say, okay, well, you know, light arrow, less kinetic energy, uh, and then that's also going to, you know, um, so it's not gonna penetrate as well. Well, I've done tests with this too. So I've actually proven that, uh, you know, and I guess, we're, you know, we're not quite apples to apples here, but shooting on the same bow, at the same speed, the same poundage, one after the other, every single time these Victory Vap will penetrate even deeper than the Full Metal Jacket. Uh, I wish I had some like the injections, the Full Metal Jacket injections to kind of try up against it, make it a little bit more even, but I mean, if it were like, you know, if it were like a difference of like this, you know, maybe like an inch or two, it, it wouldn't be a big deal. But every time my victory are buried into the target and you know this is sticking out four or five inches more so consistently i'm seeing more penetration with the um, the victory vap than i am the easton full metal jacket so we're going to take a shot here in just a minute and uh do some uh, testing on that i'll show you that in just a moment uh just want to weigh consistency here so here's my whole stack of arrows i've got seven of them i've blown up a few of these victory vap it takes a lot i mean there was one time i was shooting uh pulling a uh, 70 pound bow right and so uh one time i was shooting uh at the range and i completely missed the target i completely missed the target i thought i blew up the arrow when i went over there to pick it up it was perfectly fine but the tip of my field point it was an allen little cheap allen field point but the tip of the field point was completely mushroomed out completely flat just completely smashed it Victory arrow was fine. So I picked it up and I shot it a few more times. And this is whenever I was sighting in my bow at 40 yards for the first time. Get forward to this one, we got the Easton FMJ. We snapped off right at the end of that hit insert. Victory VAT 250. On there, the brick was broken. When I ended up inspecting the arrow, I did notice that we have a hairline fracture just off of this insert. Anyways, so like I said, these things are super durable. Um, in some cases I've seen uh, where people do like destructive tests on them, I've seen even more durable than pretty much anything out there. So. Uh, Black Eagle is another good brand. They're pretty good. Um, there's some other brands that are that are also very, you know, non-destructible. So, so I got all these arrows are pretty much the same, uh, they're almost identical. All have the uh, C E Z, uh, you know, reflective wraps on the back. They're very limited. You know, the bad thing about these arrows is being a, you know, such a small diameter that 0.166. It's really hard to find a good lighted knock for it. So, uh, a little bit of struggle. I think uh, Nocturnal makes one, and that's about it. It's their G knock. Uh, when I try to test it out, I just want to see what the weight was. I put a wrap just in front of the uh, uh, the veins on this one, just to see how much it weighs, what the weight difference is with these CEZ uh, wraps on there. So let's see what we're looking at. So first I'm going to weigh the non the one without the, without the wrap on it. Sorry, 27.3. That was one tenth. Uh, off from the other one, so they're very, very close to each other. So whenever I've got the one without the wrap, uh, it's 27.2 uh, grams, which equals, uh, you know, it's equaling out to 419.6 grains. Um, if I do the other one with the wrap, 27.8, so 428, so 428 grains. So it's not a whole lot of difference here. Uh, we're talking grains, which is this tiny measurement, right? So, using my uh, Martin Max 33 here. Uh, first one we're going to be shooting is the. Uh, we're going to do the Easton first. 
show you a little comparison here. Next we got the Victory Vet, which is just slightly shorter, but from what I've seen, usually ends up having a lot more penetration, so we're shooting through two targets here, because usually whenever I shoot my VAPs, I'm over penetrating the targets, and so I have to use the shoot through two to help catch them. So. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, so we're going to go check it out. I'm going to show you the difference here. Uh, it's pretty drastic, actually. Um, so remember I told you before, I've done this uh, same test, and uh, it ended up, you know, definitely very victory heavy there. Well, it's even more drastic this time. So as you can see here, there's my victory, buried deep in there, all the way up to the fletchings. So just to show you, we've actually got a foam filled box here, foam filled with expanding foam, and then I've got the hurricane target behind it. Okay. So the victory penetrate all the way through that, pretty deep into that target. Full metal jacket, uh, not so much. I mean, we've got, like I can get all the way up to my wrist, so I passed my watch here. I mean, that's how much deeper the victory penetrated, right? Uh, several things attribute to this. Um, one is the, uh, the ice coating on it, right? Uh, so the Victory here, it has this coating on it that makes it super easy to get in and out of the target. You can see I'm just using two fingers here, slide in and out. <clears throat> Full metal jacket on the other hand, I can't quite do that with. And it's just because this arrow is a lot slicker, the shaft of it is much, much slicker. Right. And so I can literally, I mean, just twist this around with my fingers. It's a lot harder here with the uh, full metal jacket. Again, they're both good arrows, but everybody says lighter arrow, less penetration. Well, you know, I mean, some people, if I could say, if you've been doing this for a while, you know that's not the whole story. Uh, definitely not the whole story. But, you know, for a lot of new people, I mean, you start specking stuff out and you look at it and you're saying, you know, all you can hear is, oh, okay. Heavier arrow, more penetration. Heavier arrow, better, better, better. And all I'm saying by this whole thing is not necessarily true. So yeah, sometimes weight is better. So whenever you have a heavier arrow, you're definitely going to end up with uh, you know more kinetic en energy downrange, uh, and you're also going to end up with a faster arrow downrange. Uh, you know, it's going to be less energy carried downwind by a lighter arrow in some instances, but it doesn't always mean more penetration. There's a lot more to the story of penetration, so don't get caught up in all the numbers and don't get caught up necessarily in, um, you know, what everybody else is buying because it, it makes a big difference. Um, so uh, until next time, I just want to do this quick test to show you my uh, quick review of these uh, two arrows here when I think about them. Uh, so far, I'm a huge fan of the Victory arrows. Um, you know, I've been shooting them for a little bit and um, I don't think I'm ever going to shoot anything else unless they come out with a better one. I want to try the uh, uh, the new Victory arrows they just came out with that actually have instead of a uh, carbon and then a separate aluminum layer, they've actually got them weave, woven together in a, a weave. So I think that'll be interesting to see. Uh, but until then, there we go, Victory Vap. Again, so I got the Victory Vap here, which I've already pulled out some. It was buried all, all the way to the fletchings. And then we got the Easton full metal jacket. Got about uh, a good 10 inches sticking out there, so you know, take it as you will. But uh, anyways, if you, if you have any questions or any, have any comments about that, just uh, comment below and let me know what you think. Until next time.